Good morning, everybody. I am really delighted to welcome you to the second annual Global Partnerships Week. Obviously, today and this week, uh, you're going to see a beehive of activity around the department with many companies and nonprofit organizations represented for our kickoff event. It's actually a remarkable gathering, and I particularly want to thank USAID, Concordia, and my terrific team at the Office of Global Partnerships for their incredible leadership in this effort. I'm also grateful to the United Nations Foundation, DevEx Impact, and DOTCO for supporting today's important event. I think we all agree that in our era, partnerships between the public and private sectors are essential in order to meet global challenges, from building peace to ensuring food security, to ending extreme poverty. Name the struggle. No single government, however powerful, can find and implement definitive solutions on its own. That's a truth about today's world. We need to combine strengths with the private sector and with civil society, which is exactly why Global Partnerships Week is critical to the diplomatic and development agenda that we're elevating here at the State Department. I have seen firsthand how our public-private partnerships are driving change and creating real value. Together, we're empowering the next generation of African leaders through the Mandela Washington Fellowship crowdfunding campaign. We're promoting entrepreneurship and innovation in Africa and Southeast Asia through our Lions Africa and Tigers at Mekong partnerships. We're tearing down barriers to affordable internet access through the Alliance for Affordable Internet. We're reducing methane emissions through our climate and clean air partnership. And we're working with the Global Fund to take the fight to AIDS, TB, and malaria. Our partnerships agenda is the living definition of how we do business in the world today. We make progress by coming together across every border of nation, sector, culture, and background to take on and solve hard problems. That is the same spirit that we have seen over the past year in the fight to prevent the spread of Ebola, the coalition to defeat ISIL, the diplomatic initiative to address Iran's nuclear program, and our ongoing effort to forge a consensus on the post-2015 Millennium Development Goals. We move forward when we work together, when we innovate and experiment, when we share ideas and build trust, when we bring out the best in one another and hold each other accountable. That's what makes partnerships work. And when partnerships work, believe me, we all win. Senator Jim Sasser of Tennessee told me when I was a freshman senator, if you see a turtle on a fence post, you know he didn't get there on his own. Pretty good advice, pretty straightforward. None of us get anywhere on our own. And the best ideas are never bound by borders. There's no business sector over here and government over there. We're all connected. And it's critical that we work together, not, a, not as an option that we can take or leave, but as a mandate. We simply cannot afford to answer the question of why we do things in a certain way by saying, well, that's how it's always been done. So please, take advantage of this week. Make new connections. Debate new ideas. Don't be afraid to take a few risks. The work that we do together could not be more critical for our country or for the world. This is an enormously challenging time, and we have a, a need, all of us, to reach across international boundaries, reach across the differences, and in the end, make the kind of difference that's going to benefit us all. Thank you for engaging in this, and good luck. We welcome the State Minister of Georgia for Diaspora Issues, Minister Dombadze. is here in the front, please say hello. The minister and his team have been uh, great supporters of our diaspora efforts at uh, the State Department. And he's here in this country all week promoting his diaspora work uh, as part of Global uh, Partnerships Week. Turn it over to Anne May Chang. Thank you, everyone. Week's festivities. I'm excited today to see so many of our USAID um, partners 
our interagency colleagues, and such a diverse set of partners from across sectors coming together today. The work that you guys are all doing to build impact-driven partnerships in the public, private sectors to achieve our development goals faster and from cash to electronic payments to improve the livelihoods of people and advance financial inclusion. This partnership will raise the incomes of more than 18,000 farmers in the next three years while increasing the availability of healthy, locally produced food across the country. In fact, over the past 12 years, USAID has built over at how we can all improve as getting from partnership idea to success on the ground. My pleasure to uh, introduce Matthew to the stage. Thank you. Some of the areas where we can all improve in this space, and it's a great way to sort of go into exactly what Concordia is and the role that Concordia is playing, hopes to play, uh, and I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you here today on how we, at our 2015 summit, uh, it's been a great partnership with you. I don't know if anybody noticed, but the, uh, the venue is beautiful. I mean, it doesn't look like you're in a city apartment. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time. Some uh, questions uh, back and forth, then we're going to open up. All Social economy. Yeah. Mainly. Yeah, the same, same mainly, as in other mainly. countries. To find a better life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's very interesting. For this particular week, we're thinking to make it, uh, to make a diaspora economy, diaspora, uh, regional diaspora economic forum. And Georgian language newspapers, some of them has uh, Georgian folk anthems, mm -hmm. dancing yeah. and singing. Business councils. Business councils. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I think the way you mentioned the language and, and the cultural events. The language are helping diaspora folklore ourselves with clothing, instruments, and etc. Yeah. Yes, he is going to Hollywood. We'll get him ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's excellent. Chcemy opowiedzieć kala kłaszczyktoszy globalny partner Europy skwiera ulic kachsne ceremonia ze sadać diaspory sak etrepsi sakem cipo ministry saparati moto ulic nam Ameryki sakem cipo departamentis specjalny cało madienis Andrew O'Brien i Smir jesteś zalian mniejszy lewani porumi sadać kowalc lura tradycyjno dikrebebian Ameryki Sachemcipo, Departament is partner, Kirkne Visaro Madgenebi, Official Rebidan, Arasam Toro Organization, Bidan, Porum, the Parto Dikne Bagan Hiluli, is a Saka Hever Gonzaris, Migratia, Diaspora Chartulo Bisaka Hever, the Train and Formats, Maxima Lura Dukene, Timish Tisros, Sakatulos, Cartul Diaspora Stinache, Arsabuli Problem and Bigan Hudot, Machor is Salke Saubari Contes, America Shimokme Diaspora Organization, Uzunokot, Vasli, Upro Magali Chartuloba. Ameriki's Sahel Tipo structure, she, the Ahlo Viterti Satshem, the Gain Martel, the Chemi Pira, the Shehuda, Batom Andrew O'Brien, Sadatu Satis Gam, Alobash Gandhi Hill, Semox and Evil Problems, Mishem de Gukur, Tebits, Hadas, Hoiseti Organization, Salmat Gan, Sugur Saris, Sahel Tipo Department, Soplio Banki. Aseve Sarta Shuri Sudias, Molu Chartulu, Alliance, Salmat Gan, Rumish, Tavri, Sharshan Gautit, Dam. We met on the trom. As she had to be concrete, she had to give us more than superlative scholarship. American state of the state of she, Mokmetu and Diaspora organizations.